Apex winner of the inaugural uh, all gender heat, excuse me, all gender race. Uh, then the winner on the men's side was CIAA, and on the women's side, Spirit A with an unbelievable race, cutting six seconds from their time yesterday. And they're off. Here we are. Really gives you an appreciation for, uh, you know, how small a lot of these drivers are. Just seeing the push bar, you know, practically at their head level. Yeah, and they have to work extra hard in order to make sure that this goes up and over the hill. Now, these drivers, a lot of them have push experience because they've been, like I said, much like the mechanics, some of those people who show up earlier than pushers to make sure that they're in time for drops, in time for chores, sometimes they even help with carry out and mechanicking, like I said. And so they are well versed with the course, better than anybody you might say, because they've rolled on it as a both driver and perhaps as a pusher as well. There we go, shove down into hill two. Just a uh, gentle shove. Yeah, leisurely pace. We see Phoenix cruising around the course. Phoenix being one of Apex's, being Apex's first buggy, still rolling to this day through repairs and through reincarnations, much like its namesake. Really incredible to see it still rolling on the course 10 years later. We'd love to see it. Now, for a bit of insight into Phoenix's build, I think the podcast did a really incredible job. That about a 123 stop sign time. The podcast did an incredible job following Pioneers and Apex's journey into this first build. Um, and then it finally segued into the build book that is now available on beyond the BAA. And that buggy um, now rolling down into the chute, just past the chute flying. Starting her turn a little bit wobbly, holding that line, staying clean. No skids though, carrying that energy through. Good driving in a driver race. And yeah, no, shout out to uh, Rachel Schmidt, who um, uh, produces the podcast and uh, kind of had the foresight to put that trilogy together. But uh, if, you're, if you're a buggy nut, uh, those three episodes, I think, really play well together and, and kind of just highlight what the current buggy culture is. And, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of Apex. Uh, their culture, everything they've done. Um, it's Connors OL, a bunch of those kids. Um, sorry to call you kids. Uh, They're kids. But, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to see they've made it past 10 years now, uh, a really nicely established org, and a team that's getting trophies regularly. All right, and now that they're into Hill 4, I'm going to sign off for the shoot. I'll join everybody up at Hill 1 for the uh, photo. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Ben. And uh, here we are into, uh, I think, Hill 5. Uh, hard to tell. There have been several pushers. Uh, <laughs> some end number than 10, I believe. Or hill end hill less than 4. 10. 5. Yeah. Heading off to Hill hill 5 or Hill 4.6. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, several several fractions within this last hill as the clock goes over three minutes here in the final exhibition. Ooh, got smoked a little bit by that handoff. How many pushers does Apex? I don't know. Well, Sorry, were drivers. some of these were some of these pushing on the front hills and then loop back around? No, these are all different people. Alumni. Oh, oh they're alumni. That makes more sense. Just like, what, where's this army of drivers coming from? Excellent intel from Hill 2 right there. Being as we at us. come across, hands on the push bar, 336.27. Congratulations to Apex. Congratulations to everyone on what has been a brilliant and beautiful race day 2023. 